Welcome to Conoco Phillips Read and Play. Today we're going to be reading a book called Missing Math, a Numbers Mystery. So what would a day without numbers be? Let's find out. Missing Math, a Number Mystery. To all the math lovers who will notice that no is equivalent to zero. Last Monday was an average day. It wasn't odd or weird till numbers all around our town completely disappeared. They zoomed away in one big swoosh and left the total mess. The problems we are having now are simply numberless. We tried to write more numbers down with pencil, chalk, and pen, but even when we think them up, they slip away again. So none of us can count amounts, add numbers, or subtract, and nobody can multiply. That is just a fact. We have to find our numbers. They could be any place. The best detective in our town is working on the case. Our teams don't bother playing sports like football anymore. What's the point of playing games if you can't keep the score? The TV channels left for good, we tossed out our remotes, and no one gets elected here since we can't count the votes. Our piggy banks are full of coins to spend on something nice, but money has no value now and nothing has a price. We can't send mail or packages by truck or boat or air without the right address and stamp they can't go anywhere should we wake up or go to bed when should we come or go because our clocks can't tell the time we have no way to know our calendars have empty squares so who can tell the date this might be april may or june we'll have to estimate I hope my birthday is coming soon. When will my party be? I wish I knew how old I was. What an emergency. We checked these books out long ago. It's hard to say quite when. We'll keep them for a year or more, then read them all again. Our dinner tastes peculiar, but it isn't daddy's fault. His cookbook has no quantities. He put in too much salt. The buttons on the phone are blank. I can't call anyone. The phone book is no help at all. It isn't any fun. Computers stay asleep all day. They will not operate. The cal calculators are upset. They cannot calculate. How tall am I? What do I weigh? And what's my temperature? Without a way to measure things, we just don't know for sure. Our hats and boots don't seem to fit and neither do our shoes. If we can't tell what size they are, it's very hard to choose. The workers who are building things are in a frightful fix. This brand new house is nothing but a crooked stack of sticks. Can our detective solve this case? It's very hard to wait. Our numbers must be rescued soon before it's way too late. I've tracked you down, you number thief, your number vacuum too. I want to ask a question, please. What were you trying to do? To make the longest number the world will ever see, I've been collecting numerals to reach infinity. There's a one and there's a two, a three and now a four, but math would be impossible until we get several more. A five arrived, a six, and a seven, eight, and nine, hello. And last but not least of all, we welcome back zero. It's time for us to celebrate. We miss math every day. Our numbers are at home again. Math is here to stay. Hooray. The end. Okay, welcome back to our play time for our read and play. Remember, I just finished reading the book, Missing Math, 
and we discovered what a world would be without math. So we need some at, some material today for our activity. So we need a hundreds chart, which is connected to the video. Need a scratch sheet of paper, a pencil, and something for our tokens. I have pom-poms, but you can use beans or um, coins or whatever you have at home to keep your place on the numbers chart. So, to get started, oh, I'm sorry, we also need some number cubes. So, to get started, the object of the game is to roll the number cubes and get a number and add the numbers together. However, if you roll a six, you have to subtract. So, we're going to roll. I'm going to roll first. And I have five plus three. Five plus three is eight. Five plus three is eight. So I'm going to move my token to eight. And then it would be the next person's turn. I'm going to roll again. I have five plus five. Five plus five. And it's hard writing upside down. It's ten. So I'm going to move my space ten places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I know ten, and I was on eight. Ten plus eight is eighteen. And I'm going to keep rolling. Oh, I got a six. So that means I have six plus four, which is ten. But remember, when we get a six, we have to subtract the digits. So I have to subtract 10 from my 18. So that means I need to go backwards 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I know 18 minus 10 is eight. And you could have figured that out beforehand or not. You keep rolling and the first person to get to 100 is the winner. Okay, we've just completed the game, race to 100. Kids, play with your parents and see if you can beat them to 100. Parents, this is a good game to teach them addition and subtraction using a hundreds chart. Sometimes you don't even have to use the you can actually just do the addition and subtracting. Remember, if you get a six, you add those digits up and that's what you subtract. If you get any other numbers besides a six that you roll, you add those up and you move forward that many times. If you like the activity, please like us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm DeAndrea Edwards coming to you from Conoco Phillips Math Lab. Bye.